Well, then why'd you pull it? Now we got a pretty close. Wow, what a huge garage sale, right? <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Who is ready to go and find some thrifty treasures today? Let's go see what we can find. Definitely going to get this phone. I think I only ended up paying a dollar for that. Really cool. I'm going to put that in my antique booth. And I love that money ribbon, too. Okay, I'm definitely gonna buy Frosty. How cute is he? And he even sings too. And look at this little fox here. It is adorable. I had to get that one also. Be sure and drop me a comment down below and let me know what you would have picked up that I overlooked. Look, I don't know what in the tarnation this thing is, but it is definitely Tanya proof. I cannot seem to get this thing open, um, but I'm going to try again. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't get that open, but I think it was like some kind of old recording, uh, something to play movies on. Gosh, there's so much to look at. I don't even know which way to go. <laughs> um, I definitely believe this was someone's uh, estate sale. Uh, there was a lot of items here. They were all similar. So I think they were probably just cleaning out somebody's house, maybe a, a family member. But I think that um, the lady was definitely into sewing because there's a whole lot of um, sewing accessories and also a whole bunch of fabric. So, and a lot of it, a lot of it seemed really older too, like um, kind of vintage items.
mean, this cell is absolutely ginormous. I mean, it must have taken them about two hours or more just to set all this stuff up. It's crazy how much stuff there is. And I sure hope they ended up selling most of it because what a pain that would be to have to bring all that stuff back inside. Some of this sports memorabilia looks pretty cool. Um, I don't really know a whole lot about this stuff, so I'm not going to spend a lot of money on it. So depending upon what they're asking for it, um, I might just end up buying it all. So we'll see. But yeah, some Nolan Ryan stuff in here, a bunch of baseball stuff, really. Um, which I absolutely know nothing about. <laughs> but I do know that um, there are a lot of people out there that collect this kind of stuff, so I think I'll give it a try. Look y'all, it's baseball jewelry. <laughs> so I did find some little pins here. So I'm gonna put those in my bag too. I found a cool knife. Uh, I might have to use this later on at this garage sale. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but I think I put that down on my bag too. Now, grabbing a bag or bringing your own bag and putting a bunch of goodies down inside, this is a strategy, you know, that I've been doing for years and I've recently heard um, Ryan over at Thrift Mind talk about it as well. Um, you just, you kind of fill up your bag and you just hope that when you get ready to check out, they're not like digging through every single item, seeing what you have. You hope that they just say, okay, well, you know, just give me, you know, $20 for the whole, everything in the bag. So, and uh, it doesn't always work out that way. So you guys will have to wait and see what happens with uh, my bag at the end of the video. <laughs> I don't know about 
about you guys, but I am always misplacing my rulers. I think we have a ruler monster in the house. <laughs> Um, no, but seriously, um, I will take the rulers with me whenever I take pictures of items to sell because a lot of times I like to show how tall or how long something is in the actual picture with the ruler. And um, a lot of times I'll leave them in a different room than my eBay room and or sometimes I'm in my room taking pictures sometimes. Uh, if it's late at night and I'm still kind of awake, I might take some pictures of some jewelry before bed. So um, yeah, I've got rulers all over the place so I can always use an extra one. <laughs> I really like those clear see-through ones too. Mm -hmm. Those are pretty cool looking. Your little dog, so cute. Yeah. He looks like a little stuffed animal. <laughs> hey, aren't you a cutie? What kind of dog is it? Like a poodle or? A golden doodle. A golden doodle. I've never seen a baby one. Aww. Is it a boy, girl? Girl. She's so cute. Pretty sure I just caught myself talking out loud <laughs> to myself. Do you guys find yourself doing this the older you get? It's so funny because I'll be doing things around the house and I'll be like, okay, all right, okay, now, all right. <laughs> Do you guys find yourself talking out loud the older you get or is it just me? <laughs> and I also find myself talking to my dogs a lot. <laughs> Do you guys do that? I hope. I hope I'm not the only one, but yes, I'm always talking with my little chihuahuas. I have a short-haired chihuahua. His name is Skippy, and I have a long-haired chihuahua, and her name is Coco. She's an old girl. She's 14 years old now. She just turned 14 in January, so um, we are so happy that she is still with us. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you guys talk to your pets. I seem to be a whole lot delayed here in starting my pile today, right? <laughs> I guess there was just so much to look at and I wasn't even sure who was running the cell. Um, so I just kept, you know, toting everything around with me. Start a pile. Yes. Why don't we just have you start over here and you can put it right there. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yes, free hands now. Let's go see what else we can find. Oh, look, here's some of those like little pegboard hooks. Um, you just hook them in and these are gonna be great for me to display items on um, and maybe even jewelry at my antique booth. So um, definitely gonna be picking these up. Anytime I see this kind of display items, uh, pegboard hooks or um, what do you call it? Those shelving, shelving type items with the pegboard. I usually buy those just because 
they can be kind of pricey when you buy them brand new. When I can get them next to nothing, I'm definitely going to pick them up at Bright Sauce. Now we've come full circle and I'm back to this uh, contraption thingamajigger. So yeah, I'm not sure what it is, but if it's cheap enough, I'm going to pick it up and take it to the auction house. What is that right there? Is it like an old film player or something? I believe it is. <laughs> what, what are you asking for? It? That I have to ask my okay. brother. Let me check with him.
I don't want it, but thank you. I'm ready whenever you are. Okay. Uh, Mark, can you assist me over here? So we kind of need to take it out and see what we have here. Oh, those plates. There's a number of billion plates. Yeah. So okay. I'd say five dollars each. Okay. And then we have more sports memorabilia. Yeah, that's another five dollars. Another five dollars. Yeah, I don't want any of that then. I'll put it all back. All okay. the sports memorabilia. Mm -hmm. Okay. How much did you think it was going to go for? I don't know. Oh, so I'm okay. not going to pay five each. Okay. Okay. Well, then why'd you pull it? Now we got to put it back. <laughs> I said I would put it back. Oh. There's, there's what you were looking for, sir. I'm sorry. Okay, let's just pause right here and let's do a recap of everything that just happened. Okay, so whenever Mark came over and was uh, giving the prices, he, he wasn't even paying attention to what I thought of the prices. He was just telling his sister what the prices were going to be and she was like, okay. So neither one of them were looking at me to make sure that those prices were okay with me. Um, I quickly stopped him at the $5 mark for the, for the fourth item he pulled out of there because I could see the direction things were going. I had several sports memorabilia items in there, and this was going to add up to like 100 bucks or more, and I was not willing to pay, pay and spend that kind of money on items I wasn't even that familiar with. Plus, yeah, they were new, but they were all yellowing and old, and I don't even know if that stuff is collectible, honestly. Um, if the price is right, you know, a buck, two dollars each, I might have bought it. You have to understand, we live down here in Texas and garage sales are plentiful. So I am used to getting things for next to nothing. And the garage sales that are higher priced, I just move on and don't even end up buying anything unless I really, really find something I have to have. Um, that's just the way it is down here, especially in Texas. Um, you can be uh, choosy and you can be picky living down here because, like I said, there's just so many sales. Um, the other thing I wanted to address is he looks at me and says, well, how much did you think they would go for? Well, hello, I'm not a mind reader. And why did I pick it all up? Well, because that's what you do at a garage sale. You pick everything up. I mean, you pick everything up that you think that you might want to get, right? So, Mr. Mark, if you would have priced your items, I wouldn't have taken all the stuff off of the table and brought it over there for you uh, to individually inspect and decide what you wanted to charge right there on the spot. So, in the future, it might be wise uh, for you to price your items ahead of time and you won't have to deal with people like me. And I have to say, I didn't really appreciate the, sis the sister uh, snickering, giggling there because I guess she thought it was funny that her brother was being uh, condescending to me. I don't see the humor in that at all. Um, and I just don't think these people were very courteous. Get her a bag over here she can go home with. Five dollars for the three. Um, what is it? Sure. Okay. Okay. She definitely has five dollars. Okay. I have to wonder what he would have said if I would have told him no thank you. <laughs> we can do these three things bad? for a total of five. Okay. Okay. We'll leave him here until you're ready to go. Okay. To okay. So we have five in there. And we had another five. Where's Mark? Yeah, I don't know where Mark went, and I don't think I really care. I mean, let's face it. He prices things a little bit too high and then gets upset when you don't like his prices. So, can yeah. Can a for a buck? Okay. He can be a buck, so that's twelve. We can do 
do all the ribbon for one, so that's 13. Mark? Where'd he go? He's over there. I can do 20 total for everything. Okay. 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 Oh, I have your other flower here, sorry. Okay. Thank right. you. Thank you. And that's, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I'm not sure why these ladies kept apologizing to a complete stranger about some ribbon he was looking for that I had already purchased. I mean, if he saw a ribbon and he wanted it, he should have got it the first time he saw it. I was a little confused what was going on there. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. What did you guys think of that guy? Oh my gosh. Like, if he talks to a complete stranger like that, how do you think he talks to his own family? I mean, that's just horrible, but I have decided I'm not going to take that personal and I pretty much forgot about it the minute I drove off. So, um, but yeah, I would be interested to hear y'all's opinion. So let me know in the comments down below. Oh yeah. And that's my sweet little girl, Coco, taking a nap. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, please subscribe if you have it and uh, share the video with your friends and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye everybody.